to get the gap set on those points just right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this ratchet, which allows me to get on the lower pulley of the engine. And when I turn this by hand, I'm going to be able to turn the whole engine over. At the same time, Brent is going to be eyeballing those points, looking for the maximum opening that he can get on those, which is going to tell him that we're at the high spot on that cam. Okay, because of the, there's centrifugal weights in the distributor shaft, and you can't, we can't get a camera in there to see this, um, I'll, I'll hold the points in the same orientation that they are right below this, this, uh, those weights. And as George turns this thing over, the high point of the cam is going to push on the wiper and, and open those points up. So I'm watching the cam lobes open up and right, a little bit more George, okay right there, right there is as, as wide open as it gets. So underneath there that cam lobe is just opening those contact points up. So now I know that the, the lobe is on a high point, it's as wide as those things can go. So I'm going to take my screwdriver and a, foot and a feeler gauge and I'm going to set that gap to 16 thousandths, which is what I got out of the manual. So as, as open as they can go doesn't mean they're right yet. That's the next setup we have to do. Okay, so now I've used the feeler gauge and the screwdriver here to set the point gap to 16 thousandths, which is what I've got out of the book. Um, now these points are gapped wide enough to make this engine run. So at this point we can put the rotor back in place, put the cap back on, start the engine, um, hook a dwell meter up to it, and fine tune those points. And those points that you had, we want to make sure we hold on to the old ones. Keep That's the a old, great tip. Keep the old points. I, I always put them in a baggie in the glove box just in case you burn a set of points up. That's a good tip.